All right, guys, I'm back with another video. This time we're talking about Tekken 8. Is it overhyped? I do believe myself that the game is actually not overhyped. I feel like the game has been outstanding so far. But this game, man, this game has came with a story mode, character episodes, Tekken Fight Lounge, Arcade Quest, character customization, and Tekken Ball. I don't know how you're feeling, but let me know down in the comment section below. If you think Tekken is overhyped, go ahead and speak your mind down there. Someone else will confront you. Don't even worry about it. But one thing I definitely can't get into is the quest mode. I did not expect to actually be in here, especially due to heavy avatar use. But look, bruh, they really got me in here with a red shirt on. I got my dreads to the side. Like, Street Fighter couldn't do it with World Tour mode. MK1 can't interest me enough in evasions, bruh. I have to play this shit just to get the skins on there, you feel me? But they really had me in here worried about my character, but I got to the fuck to suck you apart. And World Tour, bro, I couldn't even, like, play this shit. I didn't enjoy it. That shit got so stale to me, but this, like, you come in here, you're trying to learn, you're in here just playing playing around, and then an hour goes by, I didn't even know. Like, this shit is pretty cool. It's, it's interesting, I wouldn't say it's anything crazy or groundbreaking, but it is a different spin on what they usually do. And I fucked with that, and they still have a story mode. But I will say, the game got me to actually use the avatar in their game and I'm actually fucking with it it doesn't do anything crazy or nothing but still it's just the fact that I even like want to be in that mode again after initially doing so that's impressive to me you have me as a player interested in another mode besides just fighting people online so there you go and now we can move on to the customization I already got some scans on my boy don't even don't even worry about it this is my guy right now using Wall Rain. The customization in this game, it's solid. Don't get me wrong, I'm about to say like negatives about it because actually there is some, some negatives. I can't cap. So I'm going to start with the hair because that was the big issue for me. But oh, it goes with the, uh, it's with the headpiece. That's, that's what I'm tripping at. But you go here, let's say I want Wall Rain hairpiece one right here. All right, I can change his, his bandana and shit. Cool. But there's no option to change hair. Like, you can't change the color of his hair, bruh. I hope that's, like, a bug or something, and that's it. It's not, obviously, not a fucking dripping issue. It's not a dress-up game. But it's just fun to have the option. It'd be nice if we had that option back. Tekken 7, you definitely could change the hair when there was, like, a piece with it. I just hope that does go back. Other than that, though, not too many complaints on the, the customization. The customization's actually solid. It seems like there's a lot, um, gone. I would say it's, it's emptier than it used to be. I will say they added... The entire body outfits back uh, way better, way better than what it was. Because seven was very sad to see like some Hayachi diaper and uh, some skin tight ass suit. That's pretty much it. But you got the entire body suits and they gave you all the, the T7 ones, so that's outstanding. They can't have an issue with that at all. You got all the other outfits you had before, basically. If your character was in there, you got the outfits. If your character wasn't, I don't know. Honestly, sorry. You have a lot of upper body options, more than usual, a lot of free ones off rip. You had to buy like every single one of them, I believe, in, in Tekken 7. You had the lower body, same as well. You got the pre order gold suit, don't trip, I got it, of course I did. And you got your shoes, you literally got drip from head to toe that you can customize. Again, not, the, not a plethora of options like I was thinking it was gonna be, but they gave you enough to like, it, it just came out, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I'm guessing whatever update or DLC or whatever the fuck comes out, they're probably going to add in more slowly or maybe it goes with the characters and such. I don't know, I didn't make it, you know? You have a few accessories. Some of these, some of these are actually really dope. A lot of them are random as fuck, but this is Tekken. They hand you a lot of random ass accessories. You do have a, a model viewer here. If you shoot your thumbnail early, just a warning. Some reason the, the picture gets uh, grayed out and doesn't actually keep your picture if you do it this way. If you just do it by finish editing, you save an edge set and you take your your screenshot however you're going to, then you're, you'll be all good. That's all you gotta do. And that little issue will be fixed. It might not be a problem for everybody, but it's one problem that I came across. That's not a obviously big issue. It can be easily fixed. And we'll go ahead and move on. Alright, we just slide over to Tekken Ball real quick. This little mode is funny, bruh. I actually ended up uh, trying this out. And this is actually a good time, man. I'm not, I can't even lie, this is actually a pretty good time. Let's see, you do one of my fits out. And just what my cousin like to use this guy, I'm gonna use him. And you get to choose your little ball, whatever the fuck. But you can, cool, you can choose any, I'm gonna choose globe. 
You get to change the scale of damage that you do to the ball. But this little thing is cool, bro. Look at this shit. There's a little mode you can just jump in. Oh, he using powers and shit. Hold up. Oh, okay. But depending on how strong your move is that you use, is basically the amount of damage, and you can take some hits. You gotta be very careful. Yeah, I love that bounce, though. Look at the bounce. Oh, I can't get him. Oh. Damn it. But this shit is funny as fuck. Like, this is, this is definitely an upgrade from uh, Tekken Bowling, that's for sure. What the fuck did he just do? Oh, he's done. Done. <laughs> but this is definitely an upgrade from Tekken Bowling. I can, I can see, like, me with a few friends just having a good time doing this. I do wish they would have kept Bowling as well. It wasn't a mode I really played that much, but it's just nice to have them. I'm glad they ch changed it up into something different, though. But since we covered the RK quest, we do have to slide over. We had talked about the little, uh, the Super Ghost battle. I will say, fantastic idea. Execution is still in progress. Obviously, you kind of have to set up your, uh, your ghost yourself. But look at this, Super Ghost battle here. You did, like, basically treasure battles inside the arcade kind of shit. And I don't even know how to explain it, but this shit is dope. You may not be playing against, uh, people online. This is all NPCs, but... It's a cool concept that they already had, they threw it in with another one, and they made something out of it, actually thought about it, and did something great. This is where things get cool though with this, uh, this whole battle system that they have going on. It's like, you go in here, you fight, but it's like the AI is just sitting here learning the entire time what you're doing, and it low-key gets better and actually gets harder for you. I'm not saying it's impossible or anything like that, but it does get harder. But it's, it's interesting, bro. I, li I like the take on what they did with the game. Fantastic job with this little uh, this little mode. It's a great way to learn while you're also just trying to enjoy and have fun. Get ready for the next battle. You get NPC battles, but you're also getting, like, basically educated. Man, we'll show off this, this little mode real quick. See if the AI pulls something off crazy. Mm. Oh, I ain't fought Safina in fucking forever, bro. Hold up. Oh no. Yo, where my health go? Oh my goodness, yeah. Don't press buttons. Definitely gotta get better. Oh, bitch. Yeah, but they be doing uh they be doing a little stupid, they do combos and shit like that. But I got them too and I don't drop them. Yep, and I'm dropping them. Oh here we go. They don't drop them very very often though. Okay. Yeah, and they did they did them fucking counter hits too. Don't even trip. I'm dead. Oh wow, okay. They're going fucking nuts. And I got parried. Now, I'm not trying to go that hard, bro, but I might actually have to lock in, because she's kind of whooping my ass. I was on some casual shit, Zafina, bro. I wasn't even trying to fuck with you like that, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. I might be wrapped up. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Shane, Shane don't let me do it, bro. Oh fuck. Shane, don't let me do that shit. Hmm. There we go. We got a little something. A little something. A little something. Oh, I pressed the button. Don't press the button, folks. Don't press the button. Like I said, they do go crazy, bro. They really do. They have potential to, to fucking destroy you. Oh, I press the button. Oh. There we go. 
Oh. Damn. Get up. Ah, oh, wall ring. Oh my goodness. Holy shit, bro. She matches my fucking speed so quick. This ain't a time to drop this. Ain't a time to drop this shit. Let's go. I'm gonna have to lock in, bro. Let's get a little combo going. I do miss, uh, what is it, Rage Drives, though? That shit was so clean. I can't believe I just tipped her teeth in real quick. Ooh. Alright, but that's just, like, a little piece of that mode, bruh. They do get stronger as the time goes on. Like, it will take that defeat and run with it. Another thing I can cover real quick, they got the jukebox. The jukebox being back is probably one of the best things they could have did. I don't know why MK or Street Fighter 6 ha haven't, like, incorporated a jukebox style thing in order to like just use as your as your free will it makes no sense literally such a simple thing but Tekken gives that to you as well you're a fan of the music there you go you got your typical player card customization it's like nothing incredibly new here it's stuff that you've probably seen before they probably do have a few new little uh little signs you to post up and shit like that nothing crazy nothing that different you have your avatar customization, as I said before, I only made one. You can't really, I wouldn't say go into great detail. There's not too much you can do. You have a certain amount of faces. All of them damn near angry. Like, look at this one. Just, I don't know what the choice was behind that. I, I guess everybody's just mad in Tekken. But, I don't know, all the girly ones are kind of happy. So, <laughs> I don't know. Hair options are, unfortunately, limited. It's not even 2K limited. It's literally just, I don't know, anime limited, I guess. But anyway, you do you do got your little uh your little stances though. You got your typical stance was just normal, or you got the little ooh, ooh right here with your feet together and shit. There there was that little detail though. I just I just wanna know if anybody noticed that. That shit was pretty funny. But to round this all out, man, for the hype of this game, this game so far has been fantastic. This time from the non-online side of things. I have not touched the story mode. I haven't really messed with character episodes, but we all know what those are. I will be knocking out a few character episodes myself. I will be playing the story mode. Keep it locked here on the channel for the story mode that is on the way. I'm heavily messing around with customization just because I like that you can change hairstyles on the characters and shit like that. That is so cool. I will be jumping into ranked. Technically, we'll have its own little ranked session just like MK1 and Street Fighter 6. Stay tuned for more Tekken on the channel. I think it's fantastic. I don't think it's overhyped at all. I feel like the hype was definitely warranted for the game. It deserves its accolades. I think it's safe to say this game will be or is the best fighting game this year. Mortal Kombat 1 and Street Fighter 6 are going to have a lot to prove this coming year. So we're going to have to see where they go from here. We'll have to see where Tekken goes from here. I can't wait to see what the game brings for everybody. I can't wait to talk about it with you guys. I hope to see you on another video. Let me know if you think Tekken 8 is overhyped. Or maybe it sucks. I, I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below. I'll holler at y'all next time. I'm out of here.